Hi there. Hey. Tis Monday evening. I'm pretty happy. Okay, I'm really happy. I have not have as much pain as I did a week ago with the pinched nerve. Um, have been mainly really to do with the medicine. And I didn't take the painkillers today. I, um, I was like, you know what? I'm feeling good. I'm not going to take it. Hmm. So there. Take that, nerve endings. No, but really, I just, not that I died, that it was very crucially, like, dire. I mean, the stuff going on in Haiti, um, which is already a poor country that had a major earthquake uh, about a week, half an ago, and everyone's so compassionate coming together. So for me to, like, stick on to this, uh, pinch and everything to make it a big deal. It was huge for me, but take care of it. It's over with. There's other things to worry about like that. Um, it's actually very, very touching that there are people out there that really care. <laughs> I thought that was very cynical. I think I had a little bit of cynicism in me, and there was part of me that was always been a little cynical, but there's always been a bit part of me that's like, okay, people are really good, but then when some bad happens, like, wait, maybe it's not all rosy and unicorns and rainbow fright. But seeing how people are coming together to help people um, in a poor country, people with dark skin, um, it's very touching. And I was like, okay, great to have money, but it's great people, you know, people, they need people down there to actually help them too physically. Um, I can't really do it either right now. Maybe I can do something. I'll look into that. <sighs> but I was talking about sister, she was like saying the same thing, and we can do something. Um, well, anyway, well, I definitely can't go down there, but eventually I can't afford it. But, um, but yeah, wow, it's, it's, it was pretty weird. It's kind of surreal, because so many things have happened in this world since I've been alive, like 9-11, um, Hurricane Katrina, and now the hurricane. Just major catastrophe things that make people stop and say, what the heck can we do? To come together and um, so it's always tremendously like touching every time I feel like people don't care people are just blah 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 I realize everyone has their own thing but when it comes down to it people will be there for you if, yeah or for, for me or anyone um, and even me being sick like someone I didn't even know said hey you know I feel better I'm like whoa <laughs> That's so freaking nice, and, um, and so I hope, I'm just hanging in there, learning, I was talking to my sister earlier, my older sister, and I was like, yeah, I'm learning, like, all this stuff, and she's like, what, it's like, everything, <laughs> I didn't know anything when I came up living my own, and stuff I did know was kind of, like, not necessarily, like, not good, um, but it was sort of, like, I just learned everything from TV, um, so I'm going to be a better person, but also to stick, to stay with it. It takes a lot of work, actually. It is not easy, and I, you know, the ego gets in the way. The ego kind of says, well, I don't have to take this, and blah, blah, blah. Like, well, everyone's in the same boat, so I have to take it as much as everyone does. They just don't show it. They just don't talk about it. And so, uh, at this point, I'm just excited to be doing a blog, even though my hair is looking like Frankenstein on crack, and um, it's just, don't do drugs. Okay, so, if I like a joke, but, um, no, I was it's just blah, like, winter came along and the holiday, it was just stressful, and then the pain, and then on top of everything else, I was just ready, to, not throwing the towel, but I was like, who can I count on? I can't count on anybody, blah, 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 and then, not only can I count on myself, but I could count on my family. They supported me the best way they could. They gave me great advice. Um, people I um, used to work with said, hey, you know, take it easy yourself. And it's it's awesome. I'm just touched. And to the people in Haiti, I hope they hang in there. They get not only financial help, but emotional help and counseling. And just it's just horrible, traumatic. And I know a lot about trauma. So, and I just. Ugh, I can just feel my tears. Like, I can feel like, this feeling emotional, and I'm not going to cry because it's like, I have to be strong. You know, to say, hey, you know, there are people here that come to America from Haiti for a dream. And so, we need every space in this world for every human being. And it's just sad that their spaces ruin their home. Um, 
anyway, so I hope they're doing well, and I will pray for them. I didn't really pray for them. I saw the picture, they made me cry. I saw the, you know, uh, Americans going down there, lifting bodies out of cracks in the, in the ground and rubble, dousing water on this little baby girl, giving her water because she's been stuck in rubble for 63 hours. And that made me cry because I never seen anything like that actually. I've never seen such tenderness to just such a dark skinned girl. Never. Um, such real care. And so and that's why I like my the Bell Take I'm a part of UHC. I know they really care. Maybe they don't want to show it as much, but and it's like I really wanna be that kind of person. And I don't wanna be all stuck in because I have all these I had all these problems that hey, I have these problems so therefore I'm gonna be a victim. I worked really hard to like move past it and um to see these these people in Haiti like have probably lost everything and who knows what's gonna happen to them emotionally and mentally and I just pray that it's all gonna work out. Um for everyone because we're you know, I was yeah. <laughs> well thanks for listening.